You know, honesty is not the same as the truth, and the truth isn't always necessarily honest either. And I think as communicators and public speakers, especially in the church world, we have to be careful that we don't conflate our honesty or our truth-telling with the truth. I believe, like many of you do, because of our faith in things that can truly be called the truth, eternal, unchanging truths. But I have to also know that when I'm handling that kind of truth, it is passing through my life. And that contaminates the truth, not intentionally at all, but my skin color, my being born and raised in a privileged country, England, my... Um, educational, mental, physical, emotional limitations, all of these things mean that the truth is sometimes often contaminated, infiltrated, hijacked even by our experiences in life that make the truth now moving through my life. And though it's the truth still, I have to leave a bit of wiggle room as a communicator. I'm encouraging you to do this to leave some wiggle room for the fact that um, that's happening. The next time you feel really strongly about something, that I am right, just say to yourself, well, I'm right according to what I know, but I don't know a lot here. A lot of facts, information, education, I don't know. And if you'll communicate with that healthy sense of self-doubt and vulnerability, it will make the emerging generation who are learning in a collaborative, shared thinking, discussional culture much more open to your ideas and to the things that you're sharing with them. I think this God told me stuff that I did for years in the church, of course, doesn't go down well with this emerging generation. And it's often unnecessary. I stopped using that term for years in my pastoring life because I thought God told me often feels like um, this isn't strong enough to say without saying God told me it. So I'm going to bolt God onto it that makes you pay more attention to it. <laughs> So we use God's name to give it more weight because we feel it's weak without that. And that is manipulative. Hey, there's some more things I'm trying to teach you guys in my communication masterclass that's available. One more day. It's a huge discount off it. I hope this thought and that course adds value to your life. Love you guys. Thanks.